with the release of Blast Unleashed right around the corner and plenty of you guys with your finger ready on that purchase founders pack button i wanted to take a minute here and talk to you guys about one of the largest scams in the entire history of the mmo genre and that is the bless ip now we're no strangers to games not living up to our expectations we are fans of mmos after all it pretty much comes with the territory but even so rarely are these games legitimate scams taking advantage of a community of players thirsty for something new and exciting. And while there are MMOs out there, such as Dream World that went on to scam over $60,000 from its players, and Chronicles of Illyria, which scammed millions, there is no larger offender than the Blast IP. I figured, what with Blast Mobile, the most recent Blast MMO shutting down in South Korea after only a year of service, this was the perfect time to do a video talking about this. Especially, once again, given how Bless Unleashed is nearing its release on PC and Bless Mobile launched globally just a few months ago. Now, if you want to remain up to date with scams like this in the future, or you just want to stay up to date with all of the latest MMO news, scroll down, click that subscribe button, and become part of our community. So, let's give this game a little bit of backstory. Bless Online was announced all the way back in 2011. The game was developed utilizing Unreal Engine 3 and suffered from quite a few performance issues, as many Unreal Engine 3 MMOs do. Approximately $60 million was invested into bringing this game to life. In 2014, the first state of closed beta testing began in South Korea. The reception was quite poor, which ultimately delayed the game several years, releasing into open beta within South Korea in August 2017, three whole years after their first closed beta test. This release was completely free to play, requiring no purchase of the base game, no recurring monthly fee. After the critically negative response to the game within South Korea, NeoWiz, the developers of Blast Online, decided that they were going to attempt to release outside of the game's origin country, specifically Japan and Russia. Russia received the open beta version of the game in December 2016, and after less than a year online, the game had already been shut down due to the Russian publisher claiming they were unable to provide their players a quality title and experience. Inferring that Bless Online was most definitely not a quality title, nor did players have an experience that they were satisfied with. I want to note here that the Russian version of Blast Online, much like the South Korean version, was completely free to play. Blast Online went into closed beta testing within Japan in April 2017, after Neowiz announced that they were in the process of overhauling the entire MMO as part of their rebuild project. This would go on to address quite a number of issues found throughout the game, including performance concerns, upgraded graphics, combat, and more. Japan would be the very first region to obtain access to this rebuild project, with North America and Europe to follow when the MMO released overseas. Again, I do want to note that the Japanese version of Bless Online was entirely free to play. In April 2016, Area Games had signed an agreement with NeoWiz to bring Bless Online to the West. Naturally, as Area Games was an absolutely atrocious publisher, future players were absolutely shocked and disgusted, and rightfully so. Area Games, which is now part of Gamigo, destroyed essentially every single MMO they got their grubby little fingers on. But we're diverging from the topic at hand, let's uh, get back on track. Area Games revealed that they had the rights to publish the MMO in 2016. People were upset, but what shocked players even more than Area Games publishing Bless Online was their announcement that they were no longer going to honor their contractual obligations to NeoWiz, with both companies agreeing to pull out of their agreement. And this is where everything went downhill. NeoWiz revealed in a public statement that they were going to self-publish Bless Online in the West shortly before Japan announced that they were ceasing operations concerning Bless. NeoWiz confirmed that North America and Europe were still on track to receive the rebuild project upon release, while simultaneously announcing that with the closure of their games within Japan and Russia over the last year, this would be the only version of Bless Online outside of South Korea. Later in 2017, NeoWiz announced that we would be receiving Bless Online sometime in 2018, and that players would be capable of pre-ordering Founders Packs via Steam as part of their early access program. It was at this moment that players were left with a big WTF face, as NeoWiz revealed the prices of their Founders Packs in question, while simultaneously confirming that the MMO would be releasing in in the West with a buy-to-play business model, with the most expensive pack actually being $200. Yeah, a whopping 
$200 Founders Pack, the player base reacted with critical negativity, and it makes sense as to why that would be. Shortly after, Neo is confirmed that they would be reducing the price of the largest pack down to $150, which for whatever reason sated people's anger. I guess this was due to the fact that they were under the impression that Neo is was listening to player feedback by reducing the price of the collector's edition to something slightly more reasonable. Admittedly, I do know a few different people that went on to purchase that $150 founders pack and in retrospect, they admitted that this went on to probably be one of the biggest regrets of their lives. The other packs were fairly standard with the base edition costing $40 and the deluxe edition costing $70 respectively. Now, I do wanna take a moment here to note that once again, Neo is confirmed that Blast Online was releasing in North America and Europe as a buy to play MMORPG. Let that sink in for a moment. Bless Online released as a free-to-play title in South Korea, it released as a free-to-play title in Russia, and it released as a free-to-play title in Japan. It failed in every single country that it released in. Neo is knew that this was going to fail overseas, and in an attempt to garner as large a return as they possibly could on their investment into the Bless IP, they transitioned to a paid model. Their one single goal here was to earn as much money as they possibly could at the expense of not only their players, but also also their reputation. As three years later, Neowiz is still a company that players cringe up upon merely hearing the name of. Now, these founders packs were not the reason that Neowiz and Blast Online were considered scams, quite the contrary actually. Founders packs are prevalent in every MMO release these days. Arcage did it, Rift did it, Astelia did it, Ashes of Creation is currently doing it, what with their $500 alpha packs. New World is doing it, Swords of Legends Online is doing it. It is a common way of obtaining an initial return on investment, and honestly, I do not have any issue with it personally. The scam is from what came next. Bless Online released as a paid title. You had to purchase the game to play it. Shortly after launching as a buy to play title, Bless Online's concurrent activity levels dropped to critical levels. Players were absolutely livid at how bad this game was, how little improvements were made over each incarnation of the game, how Neo is failed to live up to any of their promises, such as introducing the new classes into the game, or fixing the duplication bugs that were running rampant on the servers, duplication bugs which were present in previous incarnations of the game. Now, with player numbers dropping by tens of thousands per day, the game died within its first month. Many players attempted to get refunds, but after playing for a few hours via Steam, they refused to process refund requests, so many players ultimately ended up screwed out of their time and money. To make matters worse, Neo is revealed later in 2018 that they were going to convert their game to a free-to-play business model. Yeah, you heard that correctly. After launching as a free MMO in three different regions, then making tens of millions of dollars from Western players, they decided, you know what? If we convert back to a free model, we can make millions of dollars more from new founders packs and from a pay to win cash shop. And so they did. In October 2018, Neowiz took Blast Online 100% free to play. And to add insult to injury, once again, they introduced brand new Founders Packs into the game, and considering player concurrency numbers shot up to over 30,000 at any time during the course of the first week, I feel as though it is safe to assume players spent quite a bit on it, both via Founders Packs and the in-game cash shop. Those actions alone put Bless Online down as one of the biggest scams of all time. However, at the same time, that is not where this ends, that is far from it. After not even two years online, Bless Online, now being referred to as Bless Offline, shut down entirely. The game was no longer playable, and players who initially bought into the game as a pay title, who were scammed out of their money when Neo is transitioned to a free-to-play model, and even players that spent money on their free incarnation of the game, had lost everything that they had been working on. But you know what? At the same time, when you buy an MMO, you buy it with the knowledge that one day that MMO is going to shut down. Heck, when World of Warcraft shuts down, it is going to have shut down having taken thousands of dollars from me, but at the end of the day, it was a conscious decision that I made to spend thousands of dollars in that game. What Neowiz did, converting their game to a free model after making tens of millions of dollars as a paid title, was an absolutely disgusting abuse of trust. However, shortly after they shut down, they issued an apology, and they said that they were working on something even better in the future, and that they hope players support their next endeavor. And you know what that ended up turning out to 
be Bless Unleashed and Bless Mobile. Bless Unleashed was developed by Round 8 Studio, a subsidiary of NeoWiz, and published on consoles by Bandai Namco. Players initially criticized the game as being just another cash grab, as it released with expensive founders packs and was somewhat of an altered version of the game that had already scammed us twice in the past. However, since it was being handled by Bandai Namco, players had hopes that it wouldn't fall victim to the same issues it did under NeoWiz, and honestly, it really didn't. At the end of the day, Bless Unleashed on console here was a pretty crappy MMO, but it was not a scam. Yes, NeoWiz had taken their assets from Bless Online, they had overhauled them and they had made Bless Unleashed with them. We all know this, and they made a fortune off of the Bless Unleashed title. So much so that, and I know this is going to blow some people's minds, but they have decided that they are going to self-publish Bless Unleashed on PC. Bamco have even went on to distance themselves from the project by stating that they are in no way connected to Neowiz's incarnation of Bless Unleashed on PC and have no control over anything they decide to do on the platform, which is a very bad sign to hear, especially considering this is coming out sometime after July. Now, having played Bless Unleashed twice during two separate closed beta tests, I can tell you that the PC iteration of the game was absolute garbage. I mean, hey, maybe it worked on consoles, maybe it was a perfectly acceptable, passable MMO on consoles, but on PC? No. And Neo is are releasing Founders Packs again for this game, for players that want to reinvest money into funding this game for the umpteenth time. And while Bless Unleashed was being developed, Bless Mobile began development, releasing in early 2020. And like all Blast titles, Blast Mobile shut down after a mere 15 months of being online. The game was so bad, much like Blast Online and Blast Unleashed, that even mobile players rejected it. The team behind the game stated difficulties providing a satisfactory service to players and quickly shut the game down. That was not the end of the game though, oh no. Blast Mobile released in the West earlier this year and... Well, was about as well received as a blessed title has been up until this point. Now, every single incarnation of the Bless IP has been for the sole purpose of generating as much money as they possibly can from their players. The companies behind these games have no interest in the longevity of their titles beyond how much they can make within the first few months of it releasing. They make millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars in their country of origin. They then shut it down and then they release it over here to the West. They make tens of millions of dollars from gullible Western players. Then they shut the game down over here. Then they proceed to make an entirely new Bless game, reusing assets, reusing ideas, providing no substance, no reason to invest time or money into the game. Yet people continue to fall victim to this over and over again. I don't know why, but I feel like at this point, the entire Bless IP is by far the biggest scam of the entire MMO genre. Dreamworld, Chronicles of Illyria, Oath, yeah, they are all terrible games that have scammed players out of their hard-earned money, but none have come close to this. And this has been ongoing for years now, with no signs of slowing down anytime soon. This is disgusting, this is abhorrent, but at the same time, this is really disconcerting seeing just how badly we all want something new to play, that we will openly and obviously let ourselves be taken advantage of by a game like this. This has to stop and we have to stop supporting games like this and companies that develop games like this. It is wrong and so are the companies that prey on our wants and needs. Someday soon I'm gonna make it.